red light ticket for being in a funeral procession. Yeah, a Chicago man was in Sarasota for his aunt's funeral. Look at this. A car line of mourners followed the hearse to the cemetery, but weeks later, this guy got a ticket in the mail, and that's when he knew he better call Bankin, and tonight she is getting results. Investigator Shannon Bankin joins me right now. I mean, I've heard of a lot of things, but this is a first. And Jen, I tell you, when you see this video, you'll see that it's not even close here. First, Sarasota police made a mistake when an officer flagged this car for a ticket. Then the vendor that sends out the tickets made him jump through all kinds of hoops to prove his innocence. It doesn't take a trained professional to see that this is a funeral procession. Here's the hearse, followed by a limousine, followed by mourners. Hazard lights flashing. They sail through the intersection of Fruitsville and Lockwood Ridge Roads in Sarasota. Weeks later, the driver of this van received a red light ticket for 158 bucks. What they're doing is just absolutely unfair. Peter Lantero was here for his aunt's funeral. From his home in Chicago, he called Sarasota, explained the funeral, and was told to send a notarized affidavit. Keep in mind, a police officer had already reviewed this video before deciding Peter deserved a ticket. Even the affidavit wasn't good enough. He was then asked for a funeral home letter, backing up his story. Did that seem ridiculous to you that you would have to do that since they have video, which is way better than any letter from a funeral home? The whole thing seems ridiculous to me because you can see quite clearly, you see the video that it, it is a funeral procession. The flashers are blinking, they're going slow, and it's car after car after car going through a red light. Still on the hook, he called me. It seems like quite the money grab from the city of Sarasota. I went to the scene of the violation and talked to an officer who reviewed Peter's appeal. How could they possibly look at that video and think he deserved a ticket? Well, I think on the initial video, as I looked at it, after I was told it was a funeral procession and he stopped and you look at each car going through, it's kind of hard to see that the flashers are, are, are on or not on. What matters now is this. Peter's case is dismissed. Now, I counted five flashes in that video, five times that the red light camera was triggered. The police department tells me, though, that Peter was the only one in this procession to get a ticket. Okay, I clearly saw the flashers, <laughs> too, and this is the first time I've ever seen that video. Mm -hmm. I, it's kind of puzzling to me, though, that, you know, the affidavit wasn't enough. I mean, this sure does feel like you're guilty until proven innocent. Yes, and I asked the police department about that, and they said that the affidavit should be enough, that that's normally all they require, and they blamed it on the vendor that they use. And they said the paperwork has a spot for a box. You can check for more information. That box now, after today, after this story, it's gone, so no one else will have to go through what Peter went through with well, having to prove, you know, multiple times. Well, sorry to him, but mm -hmm. nice job on your part. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Shannon. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin, the number 1-855-BANKIN.